Hello and welcome to Practical Review, a new video series I'm putting together that talks about practical things you can learn from playing video games. Think of the video as a specific review that enumerates what the game could teach you if you ever buy and eventually beat it. I'll be going over the lessons the game taught me from most practical to somewhat trivial. With that said, let's get started. For this video, we'll be swinging into Marvel Spider-Man for the PS4. The most practical thing that you can learn in the video game is Manhattan's layout. Spider-Man's adventure takes place in Manhattan, New York. For people who haven't been to Manhattan like me, this is valuable information because it just gave me ideas of places I'd like to visit if I ever travel to the city. There isn't a moment in the game that takes place outside this borough so attentive players can get acquainted with Manhattan's layout just by swinging across the game's world map. Manhattan here isn't an exact replica of the real city because it has some fictional buildings like the Avengers Tower and the Oscorp building. But it's still a reliable representation of its real life counterpart. Some examples of very real places in New York that you can see in the game include Wall Street, Central Park, and Times Square. You can collect landmark tokens in the game by taking pictures of locations in the city, and that's something you'd want to do because landmark tokens are needed to upgrade Spider-Man's suits and gadgets. Another thing you can pick up by playing the game is a basic grasp of chemistry, information technology, and environmental science. Spider-Man shows off his genius level intellect in a lot of moments in the video game. He's intelligent in more fields than one, namely, well, Chemistry, Information Technology, and Environmental Science. This game is a work of fiction, so it's best to take what he says with a grain of salt. But nevertheless, you will hear some real life terms by playing the game's side quests and mini games. You'll hear Spider-Man mention chemicals like ethanol, and materials like polymer in the Spectrogram minigame, which is loosely based on the concept of spectroscopy. Spider-Man also talks about RFIDs and cellular data during some of the research station side quests, as well as real-life environmental concerns like air pollution and marine wildlife protection. Lastly, one thing you can learn from the video game that's somewhat trivial but still nice to know are Spider-Man villains outside the movies. If you put the Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, and Tom Holland Spider-Man movies together, plus the Spider-Verse movie, you'd come up with a long list of villains that the Web Slinger fought against, like Doc Ock, Green Goblin, and Mysterio. But still, Spider-Man in the video game faces a lot of villains that haven't appeared in the movies yet, like Mr. Negative, Scorpion, and Shocker. Chances are high that there will be more Spider-Man movies in the future, and these villains could possibly show up. Some of the villains in the video game appear in the animated shows, but if you don't have time to watch those nor read the Spider-Man comics, but you do have time to play the video game, then chances are you might be one step ahead of your friends on identifying villains the webhead might face while watching future teaser trailers. And that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it, and maybe consider subscribing if you want to see more gaming content. Do feel free to comment if there are other things you learned from playing Marvel Spider-Man that I wasn't able to mention, or if you want me to make a review on another game. Thanks again and happy gaming.